Yeah, and welcome back to Duck Solar Gaming and Southern Cross Station. That's right, we are back home in Oz and we're continuing on with our farming exploits here in Western New South Wales. Right, let's go. We've um, continued on from where we left off in the last episode. Um, and what we're doing is we are planting sorghum in here. We're planting uh, sunflower over yonder in the big field and we were mowing some grass. So we just got to get that back underway. So let's uh, bring this up and we're going to send him on his way. There we go. All right. So he's uh, going to continue on doing that, which is excellent. actually we're sowing spuds. I thought we were sowing sorghum in here. All right. That's okay. Fine. So we're sowing spuds. All right. Next thing we want to do, so we've got him running down here on field 17, so we're seeding that. We've got seeding happening in field 7. We've also got to do some seeding in field 12 and 4. Um, so once we finish these two fields, we're going to be going off and doing that. We've got some seeding to do down here at 24. And I think that's about it for the seeding. We're mowing, we've mowed our grass here on field 20. Uh, and I'm going to go down here and do CP1, and I'm going to do this little area over here. So let's uh, jump in here and get this done while we can. This won't take very long at all. And off we go. So I hope you're all doing well. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I was at the channel a heap and we're on the road to 5,000 subs. So uh, your, your assistance in that matter would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, let's uh, get on with the farming. So round through here. Uh, we're going to unfold. Back up a little bit here. Make sure we capture all that grass that's there. And we're going to lower and start, and off we go. Now this won't take us very long to mow. Um, it's only this little area. So we'll get this done, then we'll move on to the uh, the other field behind us, CP1. And then uh, we've got one more field to mow. And then uh, we'll collect all the grass as well. And we'll put that uh, either into bales or whatever. I haven't decided exactly what we're going to do as yet. Uh, more than likely we'll go back into bales. Um, we'll see. Right, love this mower, it does a fantastic job. Now someone was saying in the comments of one of the videos that they have problems with this, um, and they may well do. I mean, um, luckily enough, the one that I am using here now, um, and the other one I use on uh, Hawk Elleron, have been modded by uh, our good friend of the channel, John, and um, he's uh, got to the point where actually is being tuned a little bit and operates better than what the default one does. Um, so while I can't say I experienced the same problem, I did have issues with the original version. So um, yeah, so whoever posted that, uh, unfortunately, it's probably part and parcel of the original release from the author that created it um, or updated it for FS22. So I can't help with that. As it's a private, mo privately modded mod. Um, it's not able to be shared. Right, so there we go. So we've got that done in the, in the headers. So we're going to head back around and get the rest of this done now. So I guess it's not going to take very long at all. Smash it out nice and quick. And we'll move on to the next field and the next field, and then we'll be done. But man. Now I think that field to the bottom, the bottom side of the map, we've still got a seed. I think I might turn that into a grass field, another big dedicated grass field. Um, see how we go. I, I was looking at um, extending and putting some more animals in. I, I don't know yet. I'll see. Um, I do have to check out the animals and see how they're going because. We might have to sell some soon. Although no, I think I think I think maybe one of the um, 
the sheet pens is full. I think the others aren't. So we'll have to have a look at that and see exactly where we're at. But we might have to sell some, some off. Uh, make a bit of money from uh, from our from our sheep. We'll have to have a look and see. All right, that that part done. Excellent success. Right. Fold up. All right, we'll move on. Just down through here, through our little path we made. So obviously, previously on the on the map. This wasn't, the path wasn't through here. There was trees that sort of blocked our way a little bit through here and there. There was definitely no bridge over the other side. Um, so we've incorporated that. A bit of a rough path, but um, nonetheless, we can easily transition over, uh, which has made a bit of a difference to, to getting all this done. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> uh, strong mower deck arms. Lift the whole mower up. All right. Let's try that again. Oh, bit of, a, bit of a jump there. It's all right. Now for you. Now we could run this on course play if we wanted to, but I think we'll just go in. And get it done. It's just easier in some in some cases. bit of a shout out I want to do a shout out to all of our patreon members um, and our YouTube members thank you very much for your uh, support they provide financial support they are shown all through the video um, as to our most recent subscribers um, so if you wish to be uh, on that little bit of a shout out graphic that comes up then uh, what you need to do is sign up to either be a YouTube member or a patreon member um, uh, and or be a recent subscriber with a public profile so um, yeah that's what happens with that if you if you do subscribe and you have your profile uh, hidden as private uh, then obviously your name won't come up because uh, you're a private uh, subscriber so anyway all well and good but no thank you very much for those that uh, that have have and do um, donate their money to the channel it is always greatly appreciated appreciated uh, and never expected so uh, it is uh, truly uh, appreciated so thank you very very much caught through there might have to come and line the land a little bit there One of the things with this, and I'll show you this again um, with this particular mower, is you have, um, go through here. you have um, the the deck camera. So this this camera here, whoop, as I've just gone and press the wrong button. Um, this camera here is actually from the deck, so we can actually um, align ourselves um, to the deck and the nice low profile and, and do our mowing. Um, not quite as good as being able to line ourselves from up above, but it uh, does provide some, some additional viewing capacity. But it's also not necessarily the best thing because you do tend to miss some stuff. But, you, know, you do have that ability to go and have a look at those other cameras as you're driving. Right, so let's go and with this our potato cedar is getting very low on potatoes and seeds potatoes are actually with the seeds so yeah uh less than 20 percent now just got 19 percent so we'll have to keep an eye on that see if he gets that job done whether we got need to come and refill him again i don't know if you caught it on the last video the last video i think we had say we had problems with that cedar it was actually the fact just that the seeds are so uh, we did realise it in the end, and we did uh, go off and get it full restocked, and then had it ready to go again for this episode. 
Now it's down to 9%. So I think we're going to have to go over and get it seeded. Let's get that corner a little bit. And 5%. What's the odds he's going to finish in time? Pretty unlikely, I would say. That lemkin seed, it does burn through the seeds as well. Yeah. There he goes, he's 4%, so he's about to run out. We'll get this done first, though. we'll finish the grass, and then we'll head on over and we'll run. Um, We'll get him running again. He shut down, waiting for more seed. Right. Meantime, continue mowing the grass. Yeah, I think if we set field five, which is field over the field there, <clears throat> um, set that to grass, um, then we know we've got a really good supply of grass um, for the future. And we do have these smaller fields that we're running, but um, to be able to just get a whole pile of grass off the field nice and easy would also be beneficial. And as, and as we grow and we get more animals and stuff like that, we can have a higher demand for for, for grass and hay, so um, it, it sort of makes sense to make sure we've got a good sustainable supply of grass to feed the animals, so I don't mind committing an entire field for that, one of the smaller fields. Getting close to the end now. Probably just these two runs to do, I think, to finish this off. Maybe a little bit of a third run just to tidy up the edge of the corner. That'll be it. Just a little bit to cover off there, and that's done. Excellent, another job done. Okay. Right, we'll set him round, ready to go. All right, we'll shut him off. And we're going to head over here and see... Well, he's got a fair bit to do still yet, so he's not... Not as if he's finished entirely. All right, so let's take him over and we'll get him with some more seed. Bit of a long trip to reseed, but it's what we have to do. I don't think I've got anything for seed tendering at the moment, so, um, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, 
I might have to look at doing that. I might have to Nor oh, I think I've got Norga wagon over there I could use, actually. So maybe we'll um we'll look at using that for the future. We'll see. In the meantime. Just uh, head back to the farm and then go back, rinse, repeat. There's been a little bit of discussion in relation to me possibly, I, I put out one of the videos about possibly doing a uh, series, uh, Go Big Go Home on the Western Australia 16 times map. Uh, there's been a few people that are interested in that. Um, so the likelihood of that is firming up a bit more. Uh, it will most likely uh, replace this series. So um, it's probably not going to happen straight away, but yes, we'll We'll probably look at that as our next um, as our next uh, series. But what we may do too is it may be a combination of time lapse and normal video. Um, purely from the perspective that there's going to be so many hours put into it. I mean, that's one of the things um, with those sort of uh, maps. Like one episode will cover like bugger all. So I'm going to have to sort of determine how I'm going to manage that because, I mean, either way, it, there's, there's going to be a lot more hours put into the gameplay, um, whether it be recorded uh, and narrated or whether it just be um, um, time-lapsed. So I've got to think about how I'm going to manage that because um, I can't sit down for 30 hours to make um, a, a video that is basically for four hours um, quite easily so I have to think about how I'm going to manage to do that so um, doesn't mean it's not going to happen it's just not going to happen straight away and I need to sort of plan it out a bit a bit more so um, yeah we'll see how things develop with that but needless to say um, like I said it's not going to happen anytime real soon, like not in the next couple of weeks, um, because we've still got to finish this map off yet. And as I've just, as I've said previously, effectively for pretty much most of the maps, what we're going to do is get to the point where we own uh, all the land we need to own on the map, or we, we're going to own on the map, not necessarily every piece of land, but the majority of the farming land, and then generally do one year after the purchase of all that land, or what, one or two years of, of farming after that, and then that will be where we cut those um, those series off. So it just depends and, and just sort of floats with um, how things are going with with those videos, how well they've been uh, watched, and, and all that sort of stuff. So there's a, there's a few things that sort of tie into that, but uh, that's that's effectively how it's going to run at this point in time. All right, so we're back where we were. That's interesting. It's course play. Yeah, it shows you where you're up to, possibly. Because it's not showing me the rest of the, um, what's that? Anyway, that's fine. Let's, let's not worry about the duck. Let's just get the job done. So unfolding. Still set to potatoes. I, there has been times where I've gone and seeded and accidentally pressed the Y key, or the button on the steering wheel and changed the seed, and come back and half the field is actually a different crop altogether. Charring through it. Right, let's have a look and see how our other friend is doing. He's almost finished. It looks like he's now started on his header rows. So it won't be too long and he's finished. So, yeah, I think this field here will turn to grass. Then we've also got the option we could turn that into a mega grass field, actually. Um, I'll go and have a look at that in a minute. We're going down to mow that. Um, and then we can do the other. So what we might also do... Right, 
so you're going off through there. Uh, I want to go here. Now, have I got another smaller cedar? Because I could hit, send someone over and start seeding that grass. Uh, Baylor, we have a cedar there, right? Do I have a tractor nearby? Yeah, you you'll do. There's an old wagon I could use as a um, seed wagon. All right, let's see if you'll go off and happily seed. Seated, ready to go. You're in the grass. Grass helps, not radish. All right, there we go. Let's send him down. We'll get him seeding that field in the grass. Well, actually, before I do that, let's just double check. I've been twice bitten, twice shy. Well, once bitten, twice shy. A few times. Um, let's have a look and see. Uh, hasn't got any stones. Doesn't need lime. Okay, all right, that's fine. Do you want to make sure you get down there and I find it? it's got stones all over it and I haven't de-stoned it or anything? We did de-stone it in a previous episode now, I think back. We harvested it, then we um, de-stoned it, cultivated it, de-stoned it, so it's all good to go. We just didn't put any slurry on it like I was going to. Anyway, that's okay. So there's all our grass to pick up. We've got rollers everywhere. I've got a roller there. I've got two rollers at the farm. I've got a roller down near the, near the town for some reason. I have to work out where all my gear is and bring it back to the farm. Wrong side of the road, duck. Right side of the road for some of you, but certainly wrong side for Australia. Okay, so this is the field in question coming up here. Now, I guarantee you there's probably a fence segregating. But I'm pretty sure there's a fence segregating this field and our CP1 grass field. But we'll find out. Coming in near the factory in our greenhouse and greenhouse hoops and this is our field in question and there is definitely a fence down there shame we can't just remove that fence in game but anyway um all right let's get set about getting him going so that's going to be a decent sized field on its own about the same as that i think really so it's not that huge um, right, so let's, um, nope, that's what I was going to do, I was going to go in here, and create the job, field position there, and we're going to go uh, 8 metres, number of headlands 4, start in the centre, and that'll be fine. Uh, yep, that'll be good, and start the job. Whoops. Is that going? No, I'm just going to go start it. Good. It did take. It didn't take control. Take what setting here. It's what we set in the actual original job. Seemingly. No. Where are you going? No. 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 It didn't. It decided to go somewhere else altogether. Why? Right. Let's change that to first waypoint. Now it looks like he might do what he's told. Right. Now, these corners traditionally do tend to give a bit of a problem with course play. It just doesn't tend to like these sharper corners. These ones down here. Um, so we'll see how it all goes, but... Hopefully we've given more than enough room with four headland lines 
for it to be able to manipulate its way around each time and, and get it all done. So. All right, he's off and running. All right, let's go and grab our mower. And need to be in that view there. And grab the mower into the vehicle. And we're going to bring him over and get grass mowing. And then we'll concentrate on getting some grass picked up. So uh, lots of grass centric stuff today, but that's okay. Go. All the lush green fields with the crops ready to burst through, or ready to come into harvest, they've already bursted through. Um, so, have they finished both their fields now? Let's have a look. Uh, he's finished, and he's finished. Excellent. Now, before we seed this field, we've got to send up a um, de-stoner. So I'll have that prepped ready for the next episode. I mean, we've just sown this field. Um, I need to roll it, but it's full of stones, and that's not going to be good. But anyway, we, we've we um, we've bitten the bullet on that one as I ran into the fence. Um, so we'll have to fix that in the next harvest run. It's just going to do some damage to our harvesting equipment. But hey, why, why would we worry about damaging three quarter of a million dollar equipment on a field full of rocks, but anyway. All right, we'll get over it. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. All right. In the meantime, we're gonna head down here, get this grass mowed. And then in the next video, we'll commence uh, with... What's he doing? Okay. Um, we'll commence with getting uh, getting our other fields seeded as well and um, and whatever else we need to do mainly probably the, the grass collection we'll get all the grass collected and, and stowed away and uh, looking at um, sorting out our animals I'll check our animals for, um, for feeding that today before we finish off um, but yeah so there we go so this is the field we're going to be mowing now plus this little adjacent area here which I haven't joined up as yet be meaning to and I will do so um, but for now, it's what it is. All right. So we're going to turn our cab around. Go. Unfold. Lower and turn on. And away we go. Trees are very close to within our field, but it's okay. Let's use that to help us turn the corner a little bit. There we go. All right, but that's going to be pretty much the end of the episode. I'm not going to uh, continue on too much further. We'll call this one just a little bit short by about a minute, but that's okay. Um, thanks so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like um, and subscribe. So. Uh, the liking really helps out the channel, so please consider doing so. And in relation to the subscriptions, as I said before, we're on the road to 5,000 subs, so hopefully you can help us out by subscribing if you're not already subscribed. And when you do subscribe, and if you do subscribe, please make sure you press that alarm notification icon button as well, um, so as you can be made aware of when new videos are available on the channel. Don't forget to come and join us on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. The details for those are down by the description. Don't forget, you too can become a YouTube or a Patreon member of the channel. Again, description is down below. And, of course, apart from anything else, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Ducks All Gaming and Southern Cross Station. See you later. Bye.